what we do here is go back, 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 back. How's it going, everyone, and welcome to episode 23 of the Lost Media Podcast. Today, we're talking about the Drake and Josh unaired pilot. This was a show that aired on Nickelodeon in the early 2000s, if you didn't know. I actually didn't watch this when this initially aired because you needed a pay TV subscription here in Australia to watch Nickelodeon shows, and I didn't have that. But this was uploaded by Dan Schneider in 2022. Clips, though, not the full thing. The entire pilot is still mostly lost. There's only been a few clips uploaded which are playing behind me, as well as clips from the first episode of the actual version. And there are some differences between the pilot and the first actual episode of Drake and Josh. I'm going to get to that, but first I'm going to talk about why this is really probably very hard to be uploaded and probably never going to see the light of day. Uh, Nickelodeon owns the episode, it being an unaired pilot, they never really get seen. They're never released to the public, unaired pilots of TV shows. They're mostly considered lost in a lot of TV shows. And this one, it's probably never going to see the light of day. It's one of those pieces of lost media where it's in the hands of the company that made it, that owns the rights to it. They've got it in their vaults. Dan Schneider actually has the full episode, I'm guessing, because he has clips. He must have the full episode, surely. But... He's doesn't want to get sued again by Nickelodeon, and that's why he's not uploading it. Uh, if you don't know, guys, Dan Schneider worked at Nickelodeon and was involved in this show and many Nickelodeon shows, and apparently was a real creep and very hard to work with. Uh, there's not many more accusations other than him being a bit creepy and extremely hard to work with. But yeah, he was a nightmare at Nickelodeon, allegedly. And another reason why this is probably much harder to get uploaded these days than it was back in the day is because Drake Bell has had a lot of accusations against him that are proven, I think, to be 100% true of him being a very creepy guy with young uh, people. So, of course, that has to happen. And, of course, that has to make, you know, search for something a little bit different. I think more people were looking for this and more people wanted to see this unaired pilot. And then when that was announced, I think a lot of people were just like, okay, I'm giving up on this search. This is pointless. Uh, You know, it changes it a bit. Um, There still are people looking for copies of this, but it's one of those things that are in the vaults of Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider has it. And people were trying to ask him to upload that full episode when he uploaded the clips. And like I said, he just said, can't, Nickelodeon owns it. Can't do that. Um, Drake and Josh is something that I'm not overly familiar with, I got to be honest. Like I said, I didn't have Nickelodeon growing up. I I didn't have the pay TV subscription here in Australia. So, I didn't watch any episodes of this when it was popular. Um, Do I wish I had Nickelodeon when I was a kid? Well, I probably would have sat around the TV all day and not done anything. I never would have gone outside. So, it's probably a good thing I didn't have the he didn't have that. But the story of this lost pilot is, I remember it being aired and, um, and being mentioned in Blame It On George's Top 40 Lost Kids Shows video he did. One of his first videos back in 2015 that went mega viral, actually, for Lost Media. And he spoke about it very briefly and almost as though it was like some sort of mythical thing, the way he described it. And there are a few screenshots back then when he made that video but nothing from the actual pilot was uploaded. And then I think two years later in 2017 was the first time clips from it had ever been posted. And it's quite bizarre to watch if you're someone who's seen every episode of Drake and Josh, because it's a different dad that plays the dad in the episode. A different actor does it. And there's jokes that were reformatted into different jokes. One in particular was the dad throws a basketball 
or the son throws a basketball at the dad and he just gets hit by it and like acts like he's been knocked out or concussed and that's the end of the joke and then in the real first episode the son throws um drake throws the basketball at his dad and he catches it and does this really cool basketball trick and then goes to throw it at him and it hits a glass no it hits a lamp and the lamp smashes um really really different sort of writing i think they watched that unaired pilot it got approved and they're like how can we make this joke better we'll just make it a bit more drawn out and make a better payoff than just i throw it at you it bonks your head that's it it is um a bit strange seeing shows where the unaired pilot has a different actor for a main cast role. I think that's kind of rare for a show, especially one that becomes popular, that the original pilot has main cast members as different actors. It's very common for shows to have supporting cast where the actor gets replaced after one episode. I've seen that in a lot of shows. And although it is quite strange going back, especially when it's a popular actor and you see them playing uh, a main actor in the show and you're like, huh? One of the ones that really comes to mind for me is Malcolm in the Middle, the character Kitty Carnarvon that was um, the mum of Stevie in the show. She plays Malcolm's teacher in the first episode of Malcolm in the Middle. And I think that was a pilot that was the actual one and they're just like, oh, let's just air this and see how it goes. I don't think they bothered refilming it because they knew that she was going to play an important character. They just went, okay, let's just do that. So, that's kind of a cool thing for me with um, film and television when, or well, not film because this is how it works, but with television when it's supporting cast and they replace it for future episodes. But it's so unusual, I think because it's a kid's show and because they're very experimental with how they're going to do it. That's why there's a different dad. But I actually think uh, from reading up on this, that the problem was the guy was way too committed to too many projects and he was an actual established actor. Uh, most of the time when adults play parts in these kid shows, they haven't done a lot of acting. Well, they've done a lot of acting, but in very small roles. And this guy was an established actor and he took on this role and then was like, oh, wait, now that this is becoming an actual thing, uh, I can't do this. It's one of those things where they're happy to help out with filming a pilot, but they don't even expect it to go anywhere. And the dude, you know, already, as I said, signed on to so many other things and he's just... Uh, bailed on that but for fans of the show as i said very strange watching a television show when not only the dad's different but drake's hairstyle was a bit like this or longer even it went down to there and in the first episode and for the whole show his hairstyle was like spiky and a bit shorter our little continuity errors uh little continuity differences um with the writing and how different it is personally i think I think what's the point? I think the career of Drake Bell is gone. I think Dan Schneider's credibility obviously isn't great. Uh, the first episode of Drake and Josh is very similar anyway. I mean, people did notice those big differences and it is a very sought after piece of lost media for Nickelodeon lost media fans. Uh, but I think it's one of those things where too much has gone wrong in the years preceding this becoming a thing of people wanting to find it. Uh, with Dan Schneider, people revealing that he's, you know, bastard to work with him. Drake Bell being revealed as a creepy dude. Uh, I don't think it's likely, it's even less likely, let's just say, for this to be released. Uh, if none of that happened, and if Josh Peck's acting career was even bigger, um, he has been in a lot of cool movie roles since. Uh, or one of the cast members went on to do amazing things. Uh, then it would be more likely for this to be released as like, oh, look where where they started and where they are now, like as a Nickelodeon thing. But because of the different trajectory of the people that were involved in this show and were as cast members in this show, mainly just Drake Bell, um, no one else, it's unlikely, in my opinion, that this, the full episode uh, will be released. But I think clips from it being released is crazy enough because... Like I said, guys, I've been following this piece of lost media since there were like just a few screenshots and weird looking screenshots at that, uh, which kind of added more to the uh, myth mythical, you know, 
side of this. And when there's a different actor playing the dad and there's only just screenshots of an unaired pilot, people are just like, ooh, you know, it, it fuels intrigue. So once all those clips were uploaded, or once a couple of clips were posted in 2017 and then in 2021 or 2022, I might be wrong saying it's 2022. Uh, when Dan Schneider uploaded various clips from the episode, people were more just like got a proper gist of it. I think I wouldn't say it's enough because for people that really want lost media, they want the full thing. You know, they want the full presentation, but it is, you know, something. It's something and it's probably more than you're going to get or more than you're expected to get out of this piece of lost media. Um, so, yeah. You take what you can get with pieces of lost media like this, especially when they're in the hands of the lawyers and in the hands of Nickelodeon and their rights distributors and the people who say, this cannot be released. Typical television stuff, guys. It's all semantics. And it's all a crappy episode of Lost Media Podcast. I actually got a comment on the recent one saying, you just repeated yourself saying that you liked Leafy and you then you hated him and that you liked you hated him again and then you liked him. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> I agreed with aspects of the comment though. I liked I like people sharing their opinions on my Lost Media podcast and telling me what's what and calling me out for maybe just repeating myself too much or sharing my opinion on how much I hated a certain YouTuber. I think that topic though of Leafy, there's still so many people that, that love that edgy style of content and defend it till the ends of the earth. So when someone says it's shit content, they're very quick to comment and try and sound out analytical and like they know better which is fine <laughs> now i sound like i can't handle the criticism i like the criticism guys keep them coming keep the comments coming roast on me roast on me oh now i sound like leafy guys my fans are here to roast me this isn't the leafy episode this is the drake and josh episode but that's all there really is to it so i'm gonna end this episode of the lost media podcast be sure to check out the podcast I also appear in, Onwe. This is the last time I'm going to shout it out in an episode because I'm. this is the last shirt I have to wear for an episode. But I am going to include it at the end screen of every single episode. Uh, unless it's relevant to the episode, I'll shout it out. He's watching this right now. He's just like, fuck you. <laughs> like the host of Onwe. I'm the co-host. Uh, but I will put it in the end screen for people uh, each episode so they can go and check it out. It is a hilarious podcast. It is very funny quite humorous. Um, that's all there is to it. This has been Lost Media. I've got another one coming today. I'm going to keep posting them until I burn the fuck out. Thanks for watching this channel, guys. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>